This is the border between Serbia and Hungary. This is the fence, often referred to as a wall, that draws so much criticism from Western Europe and much of the world. It went up six years ago as hundreds of thousands of migrants from Syria and other countries stormed through this Central European country on their way to Germany. A scene that's repeated itself. Today, a warning broadcast in seven languages. Approaching the border fence or touching it can cause injury and pain. I urge you to refrain from committing the crime. Border police say it's still mainly young men trying to cross the border, often approaching the fence in military formations. Hundreds of migrants attempt to cross each day. Riot teams remain on standby, and now officials are bracing for another wave from Afghanistan. Around 400 Afghans, including the family members, are now in Hungary, and we definitely will take care of them. But here there is a full stop. We will not receive anyone else. We will protect our border. We will withstand the pressure. And we will continue to stick to our own right to make our own decision whom we allow to enter the territory of our country and with whom we are ready to live together. We're getting an aerial view of the border. Hungarian officials tell us in the summer of 2015, 150,000 refugees were walking across the border every month. They walked miles across a great expanse of quiet farmland, shocking residents. A lot of there. There were a lot of damage in the agriculture. There were some farms, you know, and just, just went into the houses, which was very much irritating to the people living here. General Bakandi George, Hungary's chief national security advisor, was waiting for us when we landed at the border. Could you have have curbed this problem without a fence. In a country with a history of oppressive occupations and a post-World War I treaty that dramatically reduced its size, Hungary is unapologetic about preserving its culture built on the foundation of Christianity. Migration already brought forward a huge cultural clash and will bring even more. Under Soviet rule, Pastor Nemeth Sandor was forced to practice his faith underground. Today, he leads the largest evangelical church in the country. I believe it's a tragic mistake waste the heritage of the Apostle Paul. Isten pálapostolt Európába küldte. God sent the Apostle Paul. Ő rakta le Európában a kereszténységnek az alap. He laid the foundations of Christianity on this continent. Senior Hungarian officials tell CBN News it's simple. They don't want a multicultural society. We think that migration is harmful. It creates parallel societies. It, uh, you know, uh, people losing their roots and their traditions. Also, promoting migration gives uh, room to uh, trafficking uh, organizations and uh, have also many uh, uh, security concerns. ASBE and other officials say while they're not opposed to legal migration, the government seeks to help people where they are rather than transporting them to a foreign culture. And in the face of criticism from the European Union and much of the world, Hungary sees securing its borders as key to its survival. The Judeo-Christian revelation and, and values are something I am willing to fight for at the moment. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News, reporting from Hungary's southern border.